So whether you agree or not, the whole idea of microtransactions and supply jobs are what Call of Duty and many other games are revolving around these days. This is turning out to be a normal within the gaming industry, whether it be gamble type of systems via supply drops, loot crates, or even alpha packs, or just non-gambling microtransactions such as locked characters and skins in which you can literally directly buy. This is just how the gaming industry really is starting to go. But with that in mind, we really got to look at what supply drops do to a game or any type of microtransactions. Our greatest example right now could be Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 has been around for almost 2 years now and is still being kept alive way past its cycle because most Call of Duty games are only supposed to last 1 year and then the whole DLCs and stuff just get cut out and that's just really how the Call of Duty's always have been but Black Ops 3 is changing that around by still adding more things. And it's, it's not even the fact of Chronicles that made this game stay alive, it's the monthly content being updated into supply drops, whether it be weapons and stuff like that or just new skins, items in which are brought to Black Ops 3 for people to grind crypto keys to unlock or just use the COD points to better their odds, which I really do not suggest doing because if you watch my other video you see I got destroyed for $100, I got basically a sword and that was just very very terrible. But Black Ops 3 has brought new guns and brought old guns to the table, which caught the eye of older Call of Duty players, examples being the launch of the Peacekeeper or the AN-94 into Black Ops 3. These updates as mentioned bring back many players, which then keeps the game more active. This is a pretty pretty smart marketing strategy, especially since Black Ops 3 is the much more favorite COD out of Infinite Warfare and NWR, giving it another reason for players to hop back on Black Ops 3. So basically we have gone to the point in which I feel as Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is being kept alive by supply drops. Now, we should be able to get these guns since this game is a lot older than the newer Call of Duties and we have Call of Duty World War 2 coming around the corner. So it should be we should be able to get this gun, you know, we should be able to get all these guns, whether it be some kind of purchasing for actual money or if we can unlock it like challenges like Infinite Warfare does. It would make the game even better, to be honest. Since there are really some older DLC guns in which I would love to try out online, but I still haven't unlocked because my supply drop chances are very bad and I have just terrible luck with getting anything good out of supply drops. The last good gun I think I got was the Peacekeeper last year. It's been almost a year since I got the last good gun. I've been trying to get the M16 and that is just not happening anytime soon. So what do you guys think? Are supply drops in Black Ops 3? making it stay alive, or do you think Black Ops 3 is staying alive because of the fan base itself? Let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to hear your thought on the subject. But that is all I have for today guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did make sure to slap that like button because it really, really does help me out a lot. So with that being said guys, I hope you guys had a fantastic day, my name is Scotty and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out and take care, thanks for watching.